What is up guys, it's Shu here, bringing you another review on 3D Kanjo Real Girl, or just Real Girl. This episode was, not only is it already past the halfway mark, but we have gotten into some very interesting things. Uh, we have, personally, I want to say the MVP of this episode is definitely Ishino. I mean, we start off with her kicking the heck out of Setsui where he was moping and thinking about his previous experience on a class trip or a trip with other people and it wasn't very memorable and then her having her confession sort of a i guess kind of confession to takanashi and him just flat out rejecting her i predicted these two will end up getting together anyway they are very similar and we see that throughout the episode but we get into the meteor part of the episode where things are just brewing. Uh, we have Ito's feelings starting to become more and more noticeable. We're starting to see that he's a character who is starting to realize that he's not that much different than Setsui, his friend. He's also thinking that of the words that Setsui had told him before where it was... You know, is it wrong for someone else to like me? You know, and now he's thinking the same way. And he was actually going to talk to him about this, but things go south further in the episode. Uh, we also have Ayado, who, again, in a sense, sucks in this in this episode in this series, I guess, as a whole, because a lot of people in this series aren't very that very innocent. We have Ishino that isn't very innocent. Takanashi. Uh, even Setsui is not very innocent. Um, Igarashi, to a certain extent, isn't really, but she's very blunt. Um, but it's just that Ayado is just doing things or getting caught in situations without herself even realizing of a possible outcome. Um, and what I mean by that, I'll get to in a second. But speaking of bluntness, we have Takanashi kind of giving the same treatment that he gave Ishino a few minutes ago uh, how Igarashi is in a bad mood because not necessarily that it's what Takanashi had brought up but because uh, and this is just my opinion it could be that that's also a factor but because maybe she's not enjoying the way she would want to with Setsui she is having fun but it's Setsui in the episode isn't doing much but going back to Ayato it is just very interesting to see how something innocent is turned into something deeper. Uh, and what do I mean by that? Well, when everyone is kind of chillaxing at night, we have all of a sudden Setsui being more pumped up, Ayo being pumped up, and then uh, he decides to get out of sweets, and she decides to make tea, and then the incident happens where she burns her hand and of course uh, Setsui just kind of jumps in and tries to help uh, we have Ito showing up and seeing it we have Igarashi everyone is showing up and seeing what is happening Ito is just he realizes automatically about Ayado's feelings and then we have Igarashi feeling the same thing she sees that she's got this look on her face of like I'm happy that he's touching me we saw that she's blushing but at the same time she's like I shouldn't be enjoying this kind of look uh, she quickly takes her hand away and just tries to kind of push Setsui away saying you know I'm okay I'm okay uh, but at that point the damage had already been done but what came after that was very interesting because both Ito and Igarashi kind of have their conversation they don't want to tell each other what they're thinking but in that in that moment they realized that they both thought of the same thing they realized that Ayato has feelings Ito of course is hurting a little bit more because he he's already falling for her uh, and he has to kind of watch this happen Igarashi is kind of getting a double hurt because of the incident they've already had where she thought that they were doing something uh, and of course it, it was very awkward and now we have Ishino once again being the MVP, kind of talking to her and say, "Look, don't let this happen again. I mean, don't, if you had something that bothers you, tell him on the spot. Don't let it boil up like you, and bottle up like the way you had it before. 
I mean, if you let it explode, it's going to get worse. Uh, and, again, HNO MVP coming out here just giving out some good advice. And I will say that she looked like a like a whole snack, you know, with her hair down. Please have your hair down more often. It looks so much better than when you have it in a ponytail. But, Aido gets sick uh, of all times. Uh, she was apparently easily get, gets cold. And so, Igarashi is the one that has to go check up on her. And that's when things go bad. Uh, she basically gives back her handkerchief and confesses about how she likes Setsui, or in uh, her words, love. Uh, and then she confronts uh, freaking Setsui, and he's not really understanding a thing. He's still not understanding. Uh, and she ends up running outside, and she's not found by the end of the episode. Uh, but Setsui is really struggling with not being able to understand. But it's also like he's he's trying to make an effort, but at the same time, it's not enough. It's he's uh, he needs to take back some kindness and just give it exclusively to uh, Igarashi. I think that would probably be the best way. Uh, Igarashi just is also struggling. She doesn't even know what to do at this point uh, with these all these feelings and jealousy. His kindness is what attracted her to the first place, and now it's kindness that is killing her. So it's really hard for everyone, well, specifically them two. Uh, Ito is just uh, hearing her say that she had confessed, which was probably the worst time, was the worst to hear for him. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen. Uh, the, camping trip, the camping trip has already been a, a bust. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, stay safe, guys. And I, like I always say, I will catch you later. Call me on the cell phone.